remember when childhood wishes became dreams fulfilled? A simpler time with simpler pleasures, when family and home were the center of the world. Come back to those times in Where the Red Fern Grows, a classic story of family, love, heartfelt loss, and learning life's lessons. In Red Fern Part 2, Wilfred Brimley stars and continues the family traditions of passing on a lifetime of wisdom. The wholesome message is told once again with the help of two red bone coon hounds, Old Dan and Little Ann. You gonna be able to run with my dogs? Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Let's do ourselves a little hunt. Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> Join us for the magic of the Red Fern once again in Where the Red Fern Grows, Part 2. Where the Red Fern Grows, Parts 1 and 2, available from UAV Entertainment. Just a little pup when Jose found me. He was on vacation. Two, please. This is Jose. One, please. Gracias. You giant rat, world's largest, right here. That's a rat. That's a rat. Giant rat's a fake. I want my money back. Be lost. How'd you get in this box? What's that you're eating on a jalapeno? You must be the bravest dog ever. Let's see where you came from. Is this your dog? Do you know where this dog came from? Sir, is this yours? No. Uh -oh. Excuse me, do you know where this came from? Excuse me, do you know where this dog came from? Come on. Hey, don't 
forgive me? Come on. The next thing I know, I'm riding in a Chevy across the border with Jose. Let me take it. I got it. It's a perfect name. Why didn't I think of it before? You were born in south of the border. You seem to be very fond of Mexican food. I'm going to name you Chip. You know, like Taco Chip. You're going to love that name. I can hear me now. Chip. Time for dinner. Chip, get out of the trash. Good boy, Chip. Oh, great. Chip the Chihuahua. That name belongs in the garbage. I'll be the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Oh, attention, all bullies. Beat me up now. Jose said the word chip, I stuck my head under the sofa. And every time he said the word nacho, chip. I was very happy. Chip. You looking for trouble? No jalapenos? Nacho, and this is Mikasa. I'm going to tell you a story about a very special day. A day that is so special that I keep special pictures of it in the specialist corners of my mind. For today is the day... Come on, Nacho, it's laundry day! Come on, Nacho! Got errands to run. Places to go. Delicious snacks to eat. Come on, boy. Hey. Hey. You seem pretty eager to go to town today. Oh, maybe you got some plans of your own. Maybe I do, amigo. Get down, boy. Get down. <laughs> maybe I do. This is my roommate, Jose. We've been together for almost 50 years. That's more than seven human years. He is my numero uno amigo. Today, his life will change forever. Nina? Nina, where were you? And I could swear, Nina, I heard you howling at the moon. You certainly did. You promised me you'd stay in your kennel. All right, fine, Nina. Stay out. I'm gonna go do laundry. Be a good girl. I know deep down you'll miss me as much as I miss you. Nina. 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 Nacho. No running off again like last night. You scared me and poor Mary to death. She was worried sick about Nina. You know how she is. We called the vets, the pound. We combed every taco stand from here to the state line. You really need to quit talking to me. People are beginning to wonder about you.
Maria, you are here. Where is my El Nina? I mean here, burrito bread. My name is Nina, not El Nina. Is the plan in place? The plan is in place, El Nina. My hot jalapeno. What are you doing in the basket? Maria, I mean Mary, was not going to let me come today after our disappearing act last night. So we will have to have a disappearing act too. Oh, hi, Mary. How are you? Tired from last night. Thank you for keeping me company until Nina came home. I just, I don't know what I would do without her. She's my life. I had to leave poor Nina at home today all by herself. I know that she just felt terrible about disappearing on me last night because when I tried to find her this morning, I couldn't find her. And I know it's because she couldn't stand to face me. I hope that she's going to be all right alone by herself. Well, she's home now. Don't bet on it. Quiet, El Nina. Do you want to blow your cover? I mean, your underwear. I mean, your undercover underwear. You know they cannot hear me, Keso did. This plan really has to work. If we cannot get these two together, we will never get a life. The freedom to roam the open roads. The bravery to boldly go where no dog has ever gone before. What you mean, my cha, -cha is our trip south of the border. Yes, our trip south of the border. What is south of the border? What's south of the border? What's south of the border? You get their attention and I will break for the door. Anything you say, my chili chihuahua. Nina! <laughs> Smith escape El Houdinho. They will never know where I'm from. Sorry, but I'm very passionate about my homeland, south of the border. Nacho, I heard Joe tell Mary you were from El Loco, Georgia. Mucho funny, El Nina. You know, El Nina, humans are highly trainable with the right positive reinforcement. Okay, Nacho, so South of the Border existed. But you have not been there for over seven years. How do you know it still exists? El Nino, oh, my father's sombrero. I have seen the signs. Signs? Have you been talking to Dalmatian Warwick and her psycho friends again, Nacho? <laughs> what kind of signs? Last summer, Jose and I took the Mustang on a long journey to visit his amigo, Papi. I was hanging my head out the usual window when... Would you saw a sign, right? A sign? No. There must have been 10 million signs for south of the border. That's when I knew my homeland was a very important place. And each sign told me a little bit more about this marvelous mecca called South of the Border. Oh, I remember them well. That been for a big deal. Our honeymoon suites are air conditioned. Keep yelling, kids. They'll stop. That's when I knew my true destiny was to return to my homeland, south of the border. Joe? Joe? What are we going to do? I'm so worried about my Nina and Nacho. I just miss her so much. So lonely without her. Look how precious she is. She never runs off like this, except for last night with Nacho. All right, okay. And then there was this one other time when I caught her at the Hasse Schnitzel with the shifty eyed German Shepherd. My little Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, sweet. And of course, and then there was one other time when I caught her eating quiche with that philandering French poodle. My beautiful manche. And I'm not going to count that time I caught her eating a plate of spaghetti behind that Italian restaurant with that trampy, dark-eyed dog. <laughs> Antonio, you say the sweetest things. Benji, eat your heart out. Oh, Tony, I bet you say that to all the girls. What are we going to do? 
You know, Nacho, your nest may be south of the border, but he's just the first stop for me. I not only want to see the world, I want to be the queen. I want to shuffle up to Buffalo. I want to leave my heart in San Francisco. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. Then after I have tasted all of the treats that the U.S. of A. has to offer me, it's off to Europe, Asia, Africa. Of course, I'll be skipping all those funny little countries that are always fighting. What's up with that anyway? Speaking of fighting, El Nino, don't you ever want a family? A family? Why hadn't I thought of that? The open road can be my family. I will meet new brothers and sisters along the way. I wasn't talking about brothers and sisters, my spicy spinach enchilada. Oh, well, um... So how much farther is the bus station? I'm dog tired and we've barely begun. How are we going to sneak aboard the bus anyway? You just leave all the details to me, El Nina. I am the man, and I have it all under control. Shopkeepers, the city will be covered in posters in no time. We have been lost in a strange town. Follow me, my little chili pepper. I think they went this way. Look out, Tommy. It's gonna fall on us. This... Where are you, dogs? Boy! They've been here. I'll look down here. You look over there. Okay. Come on, here they come. I will hide in here, Nacho. Wait till I make my move, El Nina, and stay out of sight. Hey, sister, watch it. I hear them coming behind us. If I can just climb... Here. Where are those mutts? 
Oh, I don't know, but I smell them. Be careful, El Nina. They're coming. You've got us going around in circles. We've already looked here. Well, maybe they double back. Be very still, my little burrito. Hey, guacamole deep. Down here. Jump, Nacho. But be careful. Nacho! Whew. I made it. Let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Well, let's see. <laughs> uh, I think they're running out. My mouth's watering. Run, El Nino. Oh, Chihuahua! That was a close one, my little enchilada. It certainly was. Those bullies may come back. To do. Jump up here, El Nina. Stop the car, you! Let us out of here right now! Jump in the back seat and hide, El Nina. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Come on, Amelia, let's get out of here. Well, what about him? Is he okay? The authorities are here. They'll take care of him. Come on. We do more before 6.53 a.m. than most dogs do all day. I have not even had breakfast. Well, Amelia, how would you like some farm fresh eggs this morning? Farm fresh eggs? How? Fresh from that farm up ahead. Oh, great. I am starving. Let's go. Boy, these country bumpkins sure do get up early. We're not bumpkins, we're baby chicks. Hello, little baby chick chicks. Where can we get some food around here? Maybe some of those uh, farm fresh eggs. An example of the fine grains you raise in these parts. 
A piece of fresh bread for a bagel would be nice. I had some boys play the bagel once. It wasn't that good. That wasn't a bagel. That was a bugle. It woke me up and cracked me up. His mama hasn't let him play it since. Maybe she already ate the bugle. You don't eat a bugle. You play a bugle. I can't help you then, lady. We're not allowed to play with our food. I don't want to eat a bugle. Though it is starting to sound pretty good right now, I want some real food. Maybe you should ask the pigs. They're always eating. Thank you, my mini muchachos. What did he call us? I don't know. He talks funny, but I know that he's from around these parts. How do you know? You're only two days old. I just know they can't be strangers. How do you just know that? Because we talk to them, and we're not allowed to talk to strangers. Those baby chick chicks were so cute. And look at that baby cow. Oh, oh, hey, the baby pigs are up ahead. What do you think is in that box? Oh, Nacho, they are so cute. Yes, they are. I like the first one. Oh, I love them all. They're so soft. They're so sweet. So cute. I just want to take them home and take care of them. Take them where? Oh, never mind. Let's find some food. These pigs must be just ahead. Excuse me, piglets. Where can we find some food? It will come right here if you wait long enough. Yes, our mom takes good care of us. We're never hungry. Well, where's your mamacita now? Getting some food? They're all right down that road. Look over there. What's that coming up the road? Looks like a couple of big old mice. Oh, those can't be mice. They're too skinny. What are they? Maybe it's a couple of really slow foxes that have lost all the hair off their tail. No, their ears are too big to be really a slow foxes. What are they? Come here, little foxes. Ooh, they don't smell like foxes. Maybe they escaped from the traveling circus that I heard was up the road <laughs> some time ago. <laughs> That's too bad. Too bad? Why? Being separated from their kinfolk like that is very sad. I'll bet there it is two jackrabbits. Hello there, jackrabbits. Ooh, us? We're no jackrabbits. Tomcats? We are not tomcats either. See, I told you there are some of those circus varmints. No, we're not circus varmints. We're chihuahuas. What's a chihuahua? No, Chihuahua. C-H-I-W-A-W-A. -wa. That's too bad. Too bad? Why? Because we don't know what a Chihuahua is. Is it related to the cat? No, it's related to the dog. A Chihuahua is a dog, plain and simple. No, Rebel over there is a plain and simple dog. And he don't take kindly to strangers, especially strangers claiming to be kinfolk. And here he comes! Oh no, not you again! That's too bad. Too bad? Why? He has a bad breakfast. And he likes jackrabbits. But we are not jackrabbits. He won't give you time to explain. You best just run. I think we finally lost them, El Nina. I hope so, Nacho. Do you think we will ever reach south of the border? Of course, my little queso deep. I don't know if I could have ever gotten through this without you. Being with you has helped me too, Mary. And you're the only person I've ever met that truly understands me. I mean, we've been friends.
friends for so long. And I'm so glad that I've known you. I miss Nacho too. But the silver lining is we've had this time to get even closer. As I was saying, Nacho, you sure know how to show a lady a good time. Maria always gave me the big half when we split things. She gave me the big half of the wiener she bought with no sauerkraut when she found me at the house of 100 schnitzels. She was always so good to me. She knows everything that I like and how I like it. How could I have hurt her this way? Oh, Nacho, I miss Mary, Maria. I miss her every minute. Well, every minute starting now. Oh, Nina, I know things look bad now, but they will get better. The sun will come up. Oh, 20 minutes ago. Don't cry for Maria El Nina. Remember we had to be free. We could not stay. We had to go. <laughs> I'll cry for Joe! You know what, Nacho? Bobby McGee was right. Bobby who? You know, the guy who said, Dream's just another word for nothing left to lose. Oh, El Nina, that was Janis Joplin. The song was, A Chihuahua, Can It Be? south of the border, Nacho. Ah, next time, my little chili pepper. Yes, next time, Nacho. This is the adventure that changed our lives forever. As the billboard said, all the rooms at south of the border were hair conditioned. And that is where you all came from, my little Jimmy Jengus. Just remember, no matter where you may travel, there's no place like home and no happiness like family. <laughs> <laughs>